Cool sculpting was designed to treat and target specific areas of fat on the body. It is a approach using um, freezing of the fat to basically injure the fat cells to the point where they die. It is FDA approved uh, for about 22 percent reduction of fat in a given area in one treatment. The treatment takes one hour. Uh, you may repeat treatments in a given area a few weeks later and ultimately the final result takes about six to eight weeks for all of the swelling to go down and for the final result to be evident. The process for cool sculpting is very simple. Uh, we basically assess you, do a clinical exam, determine if you are in fact a candidate. Uh, once determined that you are a candidate, then we arrange for the treatment. And the treatment lasts one hour. Uh, we have two machines which allows us to treat two areas at once during that one hour period. The great advantage to cool sculpting is the machine does not break the skin. There is no anesthesia needed. Uh, there is no risk with infection. Uh, there is no real significant downtime. You can go about physical activity and exercise immediately. And you can even drive yourself to and from the procedure. These uh, are all quite different than if you were to undergo a surgical procedure. Cool sculpting, uh, I believe, is very safe and it's one of the few procedures that is FDA approved for specific removal of fat using a freezing technique. And uh, for the FDA to approve a procedure, it has been rigorously reviewed and data has been collected and it has been found to be very safe. The average patient uh, can expect about a 22% reduction in fat in the area being treated with one treatment. Uh, it does take about eight weeks to see that full reduction. Uh, in some patients it may be more, but on average 22% is the uh, targeted uh, result. Uh, also keeping in mind that that same area may be retreated for an additional 22% reduction at some point in the future, again avoiding surgical procedure. I think the most important thing to know about cool sculpting is, is simply how simple it is and safe. And I think ultimately when considering a procedure, uh, you have to weigh those uh, considerations. The fact that it does not uh, go through the skin or uh, require any type of anesthesia uh, makes it extremely safe. And I think ideally you want to have just areas of, of fat that you cannot address through diet and exercise. Uh, it certainly is not a substitute or a replacement for a good diet and healthy active lifestyle.